Hello and welcome to Delubal Tutorials. In this video, we will consider the development of a torque as an effect of the force in its lever arm. In this specific example of a crane, we observe point A. Force F1 acts on it. It has a line of action that runs through the point of application in the arrow direction of the force. In this case, point A is both the reference point of the moment and the point of the force application. A force is usually absorbed by another opposing force so that the state of equilibrium prevails in the body or structural system. In our case, this is the support force F2. If two equally large and opposite forces are in the same line of action, their resultant is equal to zero. But how do we prove this relation? For this, we carry out the first equilibrium condition. It is the sum of all forces. We assume that F1 and F2 are equal. As already mentioned in the previous tutorials, the vertical force downwards is defined as positive. Therefore, the equation F1 minus F2 is zero. The sum of all forces is thus equal to zero. In this case, there is no rotational action. So the structural system has no moment. However, if these forces are in different lines of action, a force couple arises, which leads to a rotational action. This is measured by using the moment. If we perform the sum of the vertical forces again for this second case, we see that it does not change anything. Why? Because the force F1 has only shifted parallelly, that is, the force direction and size remain the same again. The sum of all vertical forces is zero. On the other hand, a lever arm has been created by displacing the force and its line of action. The lever arm L is the vertical distance between the two lines of action. One line of action runs through the reference point of the moment and the other one through the point of force application. In the image, it is the right lever of the crane. Thus, the product of the force F and the length L results in the moment F times L. This means that the unit is the kilonewton meter. The counter-clockwise moments are defined as positive in structural analysis and mechanics. We can play the same example idealized in RFEM. As a structural system, we take this cantilever. In this way, the topics of forces, a line of action, and the resulting moment are explained. Exactly at the support, we have a force or a concentrated load that acts perpendicularly on the member. On the left, you can see the same line of action of the support force and the external load. If we move the force to the right to a parallel line of action, we see the development of the torque. For this, we simply click the calculation button above. Since the button of the displacement mode is activated, our FEM shows the curve of the deformed member. The force exerts a rotational action with a lever arm of 10 meters clockwise and deflects the member downwards. On the right, we can increase the display factor of the deformation to get a stronger deformation effect. Now, we can activate the moment for internal forces in Project Navigator to see the distribution of it. Since the lever arm is the longest at the restraint, the linear rise of the moment distribution reaches the maximum. This was our explanation of the moment development. See you soon in the new tutorial about the composition of forces and resultants.